Hi Pisces, it's Karen and welcome to your weekly tarot reading. So this is a reading for any uh, sun, moon or rising Pisces. We're going to take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the big ideas or awareness for the week, guidance and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so for the awareness of the week, there's a sense here that you are going to have to be ready for whatever comes your way, that you may have been uh, handling some challenging matters and that you're a little tired or maybe exhausted from that. You need a little support here, holding on to this wand. This is the nine of wands and with wands, we're talking about Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And there's a sense here that um, He's ready for what's coming next. He has a choice that he could quit and lay down his wand, or he can continue to stand. You can show your determination, your grit, for whatever little situation is bubbling up in your life. And that is to be ready to protect yourself, be ready to defend, and uh, you know, keep your eyes looking forward, meaning you know, don't look away. And that's to be perceptive and to be, you know, uh, attentive to what is happening as you're working here to defend and to protect yourself. So our other idea or awareness for the week is the high priestess, Major Arcana. So here's a sense of protection from within where you are taking time to think about what lies beneath you. You know yourself better than anybody else. And you have to maybe think about what's going on in your life in terms of your intuitive and your gut check, you know, way, which is what am I feeling? I wonder why I'm feeling that, uh, paying attention to your dreams, to messages, to spirit messages, to whatever, you know, whatever's flashing through your head. There's a reason why it comes. The universe kind of, uh, sends it your way. So with the high priestess, it's not so much of do, do, doing things. It's a matter of maybe creating some time, some stillness for you to meditate, to reflect, to journal, to uh, create an altar that's going to bring you some peacefulness and an opportunity to do the deep dive. She has, and she is the keeper of, of the knowledge, which means that you are the keeper of your own knowledge. So you know what's going on best. The awareness for you this week is to pay attention to your inner guide, to listen to your inner guide, to focus and to give value to your instinct, to your gut messages. Okay, so in terms of guidance, we have the Nine of Cups, and this is a sense of pleasure and comfort and enjoyment from what you have. And so perhaps behind this uh, folded arms of this fellow here, maybe it's taken a lot of time and discipline and focused work in order to acquire those Nine Cups that he's so proudly displaying. But there's a message here which is, um, pursuing what you want in life and enjoying it when you do get it. And, you know, he looks pretty satisfied. There's a feeling of feeling content because whatever you've put into the mix here, you're very proud of what you have. So with the nine of cups and again, cups, water sign, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, this is a wish fulfillment card, which is to set your intention, make a wish, and it should come true. So it's, it's a nice card to be thankful and to be appreciative and to enjoy what you've worked for. And so here we have uh, the Three of Wands, and the Three of Wands, it's about looking at the big picture. While 
the high priestess may look at the big picture from within. Here's the looking at the pic big picture externally for you. Where, where are you headed next? What do you plan on doing? Does it involve travel? Does it involve enterprise or businesses that are global? Um, are you hoping to start a new business? Are you hoping to manifest and create a relationship, a marriage, uh, you know, get a degree? There's so many things. This is all here in his head visualizing what am I going to do next? So this is the initial stages here of manifesting, of creating, and of thinking of how it may be. So it's a very powerful card. Um, you know, I think along with this high priestess, because it's really trust your instinct as you begin to visualize the future and what you want to achieve or what you want to accomplish. So in terms of your possible outcomes, here's the Hierophant. And the Hierophant has to uh, it concerns the traditions and the conventions of society, of religious dogma, of ways that we do things, that we're expected to do things, paths that we're expected to take. Often this could be that you may need counsel from someone who is experienced and is a leader within um, you know, their field. And so whether that's a religious leader like a priest or clergyman or uh, you know, a supervisor at your corporation or a professor or headmaster at school. It is perhaps getting the advice from them. But there's also a sense of, A, either trying to fit in to a collective of, this is about the group think, the society. It's not so much about individual think. It's kind of everyone following. So, whether you're having a hard time fitting in into a group collective or you are trying to build your relationships within the group, you know, this is where we see the Hierophant. The hier Hierophant's message could very well be to work hard, continue to work hard, and you will have your rewards. But don't forget, you have to work hard and you have to follow the leader follow the rules. And so this may apply that this is how many people choose to move forward. And then some people say, you know, I, I can't, I have to do things my own way. I have to see things and create in my own way. So this sense here that I'm getting is of, of, uh, you know, protecting yourself in some fashion, really listening and going for your intuition, letting your intuition to lead, enjoying what you have, but you're really thinking about what's next. Where's the contentment going to come next? Is it going to be conventional or perhaps is it going to be unconventional? And then here's the Knight of Wands, which is movement of accessing your personal power of having fun and adventure. Take advantage of the things that make you feel good the projects or the people that put a smile on your face and bring you energy and excitement. Don't settle for the dreary or the drab. There's no reason to. And so here it's, you have the reins in your hand and you're controlling the movement of this horse. And so you have to create the pace of the things that you want to do. So you're going to take charge. You're going to make the moves here to start to implement whatever it is that you're thinking about doing the next place to get your, uh, passions and uh, fulfillment and contentment along the way, you may need counsel or you may need to break away from norm thinking. So interesting reading. Let's choose an Oracle card. We'll get a sense of the, uh, meditation or the focus for the week. I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. A beautiful illustration, a beautiful message. 
which is to, you know, let the past lie. Let it go and allow people to have a clean slate and see them through, through with eyes of love and with compassion and empathy. So it is really, it's a it's tantamount to how you think and how you view people. And now let's choose a message for spirit or emotional self. Dream talk. Your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages, and more. And again, this dovetails nicely with the High Priestess. Too often we don't pay attention to the messages that we hear or that we see. We are oblivious and we let them slip right through. Um, pay attention to things that you happen to see, numbers, fragrances, feelings, and uh, you know, don't dismiss them. And finally, let's choose a card for love. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And that's a great message, which is when you restrict your thinking, when you restrict the vision, you might miss out on someone who's fantastic and maybe a wonderful match and you weren't expecting it. And so uh, just being open to meeting people that you enjoy talking to, just the, the simple things versus putting out there a certain type or a certain career. So a lovely, lovely card. This is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you have an awesome week. If you found anything helpful here today with this reading, please subscribe, like, share or comment. I'd love to hear from you and I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.